what's going on, you guys? Rasati out here in Singapore, and I wanted to jump back on here because I have a lot that's been running through my head at the moment. And lucky for me, I actually wrote some of these things down. So I really want to let you in on this little thing that I think is like the biggest hack of all time. I love WhatsApp because I can, I'm pretty much on it every day, right? And I love the fact that WhatsApp has this, um, this aspect I don't know this ability to be on your computer as well so you have the the whatsapp web right so I've realized that I can hack a lot of things with whatsapp web and whatsapp on my phone so I really like the fact that I can actually transfer files from my computer onto the web version of whatsapp and it actually ends up on my phone so it's a, it's really easy for me to send things to people rather than have to you know we transfer or send it by email it's, it's a lot easier actually the other thing I really love is the fact that um, you can do it both ways you can do it from the computer to the phone or from the phone to the computer. The other thing I really love is the fact that I am able to create a group, like a group chat, like a notepad basically, by creating a group and deleting all the members off of it and just leaving me there by myself. So I can actually keep that group for myself and keep a bunch of notes. And that's actually what I do for the most part. When I plan content, if I see something that inspires me throughout the day, I will write it into my memo WhatsApp group because it keep it gives me the ability to keep track of what it is that I want to what that I want to talk about. So as I go through these classes that I'm taking and learning new things and remembering old things that I've known before, it's been really, really helpful to go back to this memo WhatsApp group to be able to see the things that I wrote down. Now, one thing that I did write down was the fact that sometimes you have at some point in your life, you're going to have to get used to the idea of being by yourself. You have to be really comfortable with your own company. And that's not something that people actually talk about very often. I mean, recently, I've seen a lot of memes and quotes talking about, you know, um, once you get used to your own company, it's really hard for anyone to compete with. Or once you get used to being by yourself, you don't need anybody else. Like in that regard, it seems like a very, very angry thing to say. It's like, you know, I don't need y'all anyway, you know leave me the hell alone kind of thing. But that's not what I'm talking about. When I talk about being alone and being in your own company, it's like when you don't have anyone you have to entertain, you don't have anyone that has expectations on your time or your behavior, what is it that you do? How is it that you spend the time? What is it that you occupy your day with? And that's the part that I really want you to pay attention to. Because I think it's so fascinating and so amazing because when you don't have to do something, when it can be your choice, when and how and what it is that you're doing, it's amazing what people will gravitate towards. Uh, A lot of us right now in this quarantine are happy binge watching Netflix uh, to the point that I think that they, uh, in in Europe, they issued a statement statement or a request to to Netflix to kind of like um, reduce all of the traffic on their bandwidth because it was so heavy. Um, There were so many people actually downloading or watching at the same time. The other thing is, though, people are out there on social media talking to each other, just just randomly like putting out all their thoughts, which is not a bad thing. But there is a select few people who are actually pursuing their curiosity. They're chasing their curiosity. Whatever it is that they want to research, they're researching everything. If they want to finally pick up the guitar that's been in the corner and collecting dust, they are going to tune that up and start playing music. A lot of times um, they people watch what other people are doing, right? So right now TikTok is blowing up, I know, because everyone's got like a dance challenge of some sort and they're following each other and trying to outdo each other, which is great. I'm glad people up and moving and actually recording their, their dance moves. But even still, there are very, very few people who are actually out there creating. So I want to talk about the fact that I took time, specifically took time to learn what it is that I like to do when I don't have to entertain a group of people. I specifically started going out by myself, going to movies by myself when I'm home In the house by myself, I can choose whatever movie I want to watch. Um, When I go to the movies, I can sit wherever I want and I can watch whatever movie I want. When I go to a restaurant and sit down, I can sit wherever in the restaurant I want and eat whatever. I don't have to worry about anyone saying anything. I don't have to watch the way I eat or what I eat or how much I eat because I get to be myself. And I think that's something that we miss out on a lot as we grow up. We don't get the, the, the space in our families, in our, in our homes, right? Our childhood homes. We don't usually get the space to really express who we are. Why? Because our parents have rules for things. You can't really sit upside down on a couch and try and eat, obviously. Obvious reasons you're trying not to choke. Um, you're not supposed to have your shoes on the couch. You are told to clean certain times 
a certain amount of times in the week, unless, of course, you have like a live-in maid or something. But the point being that there are rules and regulations and parameters for your behavior when you're growing up with your parents. Once you gr- once you graduate from high school in the U.S., you're expected to go off to college, and that's usually staying on campus away from home, and that's when you really discover what you can and can't do, what you should and shouldn't do. That's, that's when everyone makes all those, like, you know, those bad choices, screw up a lot of times, walk of shames, skipping tests, like all that stuff, and you really learn to manage your time and your energy and your grades for yourself when you don't have someone nagging you or standing over your shoulder trying to check on what you're doing. That is like a rite, of, a rite of passage in the West. But here in the East, in Singapore specifically, you don't actually get to stay on campus. You, you're expected to commute to and from your childhood home while you study. Now, a lot of times that means your parents are still going to be on you about, you know, your, your schoolwork, your grades, the money that you're paying, when you come home, what you do when you come home. Like all of that is still quite monitored, whereas in the West, it's not. So you don't have that ability to really discover who you are, how you are, what you are capable of, what skills you need to develop in order for you to survive. And that usually doesn't come until you marry someone and move out of the house with your husband. At that point... I don't know how that's going to work, but usually it's going to end up being something to the effect of both of you are going through like, you know, your growing pains together. Maybe one person is very, very detail oriented. So they are very specific about where they put everything, what the organization of the house looks like, how clean and immaculate it is, all of those things. And some people, they just don't live like that. They're very artistic. They're very big picture oriented. And as long as the bills get paid somehow at the end of the month, we're all good. So staying by yourself, learning to enjoy your own company, Um, discovering whether you can or can't cook, discovering whether you can or can't manage your time or your finances for that matter. That's something that's really, really essential. And I don't think people are given the opportunity to learn that unless it's absolutely necessary. I'll give you another example. Me, I've been on my own since I was 16. I mean, I live with my mom and dad. And I had two brothers in the house as well. But for the most part, I earned my own money because I felt guilty for asking my mom to help me out with things that I should be able to earn for myself. So I did that, right? I have been the eldest child. I have been the eldest child or had someone to look after since the age of four. And I've been happy doing that. I've been happy, you know, looking out for my brothers, uh, making sure that they're fed, making sure that they're fairly clean, they're not dying, you know, like looking after somebody else changes the way you see your life. It makes you a little bit more responsible. A lot of times it's before you're ready. So that's amazing. But for my daughter, she's an only child. When she was living in the States, she was only there for two years and she had older siblings, which would have been fine, except that it doesn't change the way she needs to be responsible. She just had two people more that could be looking after her. Now that she's in Singapore with me and it's just the two of us in the house, she still doesn't really need to worry about anything because she's only nine and I'm not worried about forcing her to do chores or anything around the house because it's only the two of us. It's not that big a deal to me. But with that same on that same token, I know that not letting her or not pushing her to take responsibility for herself means I'm not allowing her to make those mistakes and figure it out for herself. Uh, for the longest time, I gave her a bath. I, I still wash her hair for her because she's very ginger about the about brushing her hair and tangles and knots and she's very tender-headed still. So I understand that. A lot of times, I take care of the things that she she needs taken care of. She's still a young child to me. But I remember growing up when I was her age, I had a bathroom that was assigned to me that every Friday I needed to clean. I had to take the garbage out. I had to make sure I washed all the dishes. There was a rule in my house. If you go to put a dish in the sink and there's other dishes in the sink, that becomes your responsibility. You you need to clean them all up. When you go to bed at night, you're supposed to clean the kitchen and then go to bed so that the kitchen is clean and the ants don't have time to build nests and ant hills all over your kitchen while you sleep. So those are the things that we grew up with. But because my daughter is just me and her and I do the bulk of the cooking and cleaning anyway, I don't force her to do any of those things, which also means I'm stunting her ability to take responsibility for simple things around the house. So once again, please make sure you take time to learn these things about yourself. Uh, All of you probably know how to put on makeup, right? You know how to dress yourselves. You know how to put on makeup. But do you know how to take care of clothes well enough so that they last a long time? Or are you used to getting rid of clothes once every season and buying new stuff all the time? Um, Do you know how to make your groceries last? Do you know how to go grocery shopping in order to be able to cook a full meal? And do you know how long that meal would last? And then, you know, how, how do you make... 
how do you get the most bang for your buck is basically what I'm asking you. Do you know how to manage your finances? Do you know how to put away things? Do you know how to save before you start spending? Or do you spend and then save whatever's left over? Those little things really, really do make a big difference. And if you don't know how to do those things, you might want to get to it. But in the meantime, as far as emotions are concerned, that's where I can really help you. If you don't know how to manage your emotions, if you don't know what your tendencies are, if you don't know you know, what you like and what you don't like, if you're not sure because you've never actually really paid attention, please hit me up. I have a strategy for that. If you want to learn it, please let's sit down, let's talk because I would love to teach you anything that might make your life a little more simple. So like I said, if you have any questions, if you want to know more, hit me up, leave a message, comments, concerns, whatever, direct message me even. And I'm willing to help because I have all these things set up for you. And it's about as easy as I can make it because I want it to be practical changes that you can make easy to adapt, right? So in the meantime, y'all take care. Think about what I've said as far as being able to be responsible before you have no choice. So you can kind of, you know, test the waters a little bit. And as always, y'all take care and I will catch you again soon.